Karen, I'd like to ask, how do children process trauma and loss differently to adults? Is there, is there a difference? Yeah, this is important. Yes. Uh, yeah, please, De- please. Definitely a difference because when adults process grief, we, we go into a 24-7 painful period where we don't stop thinking about the, the person we've lost and it's just with us continuously we don't we lose sleep it's on our mind all the time but a child um i've, I've read the term puddle jumping where they puddle jump between being okay one moment then they will break down and have tears anxiety and be, our children always express their emotions behaviorally until they learn the words, their behaviour will display how they're feeling. But naturally, if a child is running around crazy and it's not a normal behaviour, a mother or father's like, say, sit down and be quiet, and they can get very agitated. But the behaviour is an expression of a pain they could be feeling. And so this puddle jumping means they'll go in and out. They'll go and watch TV for a while. They'll come back and have a cry. Oh, I miss granddad or I miss mummy. And we'll say yes and they'll cry. And then even maybe weeks later they might come back and you think, oh, shh. Surely the child's over it by now, but no, they are still processing. And I know when I was at uni doing the study, um, uh, Professor Judith Murray would say it's called oscillating. We oscillate between being okay, not being okay. Children go through that right from the start, but it takes a little time for an adult to start that oscillating process because mm-hmm. the very beginning of an adult's grief process is that 24 7 can't get this out of my mind. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you.